Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for another daily energy and guidance oracle and tarot card reading. And we're using the Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay. And today is February the 9th. However, I consider this a timeless video. Whenever you see the video is meant for when you are to hear the message. And let's get started with the reading. And also, you could use this as a pick a card, choosing one, two, or three, or you could use it as a blended reading for the entire day with all three cards. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. Okay. I have two jumping cards, which I will take. And I'm going to take this one that flipped over. Okay, so card number one, okay, is going to be solitude. And this is a repeat card. It says, think of being alone as meaning you're all one, <clears throat> excuse me, in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during our quiet times. And yes, during our quiet times is when we learn the most about ourselves. It's when we're able to really get in tune with what our intuition is, what our gut feeling is, what our heart is feeling. So today's perfect being that it is the weekend. It's a Sunday, normally a day of rest for a lot of people. Um, unlike a hectic work week where we have to be going, going, going. So today what you want to do is try to find some time to be in solitude. And then card number two is going to be Tree Wisdom. And this is also another repeat card. And you see me shuffle the deck. I shuffle off camera. I shuffle during the reading. But these cards seem to keep coming out over and over and over. And this one is Tree Wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. So this is telling me to maybe spend your solitude in nature. Okay, today, if you can get outside, you know, just for five, ten minutes to clear your head. Uh, buildings hold energy. So when you're trapped inside, you're trapped with that energy. Sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative. Uh, but to go outside just for a little while, maybe focus on the trees that are around you. If you live in the city, maybe go to a park. If you're fortunate to live near, you know, uh, a rural area, you know, go maybe walking through the woods. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful card that will also ground you just by being outside. And then the last card, card number three, again, is another repeat card. This inspiration keeps on popping up and I'm thinking that there's a lot of people out there that need to do something that inspires them. You're caught in the nine to five rut, okay? Every day, Monday through Friday, get up, go to work, come home, get up, go to work, come home. You need to find some time for yourself, something that inspires you, whether it's taking up a class Okay, you can do that online in your free time. You could uh, start making videos that would help people with your experiences or, or give spiritual guidance. Um, you could create jewelry. Um, there are so many things. I mean, you could take up Reiki healing, um, maybe take on some type of a, a health regime where you do maybe meditation or yoga at certain times of the day. Whatever you are inspired to do, you want to change up your routine a little bit. This card is telling you, be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the Fairy of Inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she could call at any time. So you're going to get this inspiration to do something that you've never done before, or maybe something you've been wanting to do, but just haven't put into action. So find some time to do something out of the ordinary, something that you're inspired to do to break up that routine. What a beautiful reading. If you've enjoyed this reading, please give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.